In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1, it talks about faith and it gives a definition of faith. It says it's the evidence of things not seen and the assurance of things hoped for. And often when we pray, we, we, we don't know if God's going to do something and sometimes we don't even see it happen. But it's the evidence of the things that are not seen. It's the assurance of things hoped for. So faith is having that assurance in your heart for the things that you hope for. You may never see it come to pass, but God will do it. And you have that assurance that God's going to do it. Let me give you a, a, a wonderful story of something that happened to me that I think illustrates what faith is. Many years ago, I went to a Siberian city. It, was, it had been a part of the former Soviet Union. Much of the city had been built by slave labor under Stalin's regime, and, and they had been sent there. Many of those who were prisoners were people of faith, people who believed in Jesus, and because of their faith, they were sent to Siberian prisons. And so this was the first time. They never had anything like this. There were no churches in this city. I went there and I preached and thousands of people came to Christ. It was an incredible meeting, one of the most wonderful meetings I've ever experienced where I preached the good news of Jesus and many people became followers of Him. But something happened. It was, it was very interesting. A journalist came to me and said, Mr. Tippett, uh, a lot of people believe that our city is under a curse. Do you believe that our city is under a curse? And I said to her, no, your city's not under a curse. Your city's under a blessing. She said, what? What do you mean my city's under a blessing? I said, some of the people who built this city, who, who built the apartment buildings, who laid the streets, some of those people were followers of Jesus. And I'm convinced that they prayed that one day the people of this city would hear the good news of God's love through Jesus Christ. And today, God answered their prayers. And, and today, it has been answered. They never saw the answer, but today we're seeing the evidence of what they prayed for. They had the assurance of what they hoped for, and now we're seeing the evidence of it. Oh, I tell you what, you may not see the evidence of it in your day, your generation, but you pray. You pray for your city. You pray for your nation. You pray for your, your community. God will do a work even if you don't see it in your lifetime. God will answer your prayers. God will do a work because He is a true and living God who answers prayer. You stand in faith no matter what the circumstances say. You trust God. He will hear you and answer you. Pray in faith.